presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 57, NASDAQ off 94, SP's down 7, gold contract down $5.50, trading at $17.93 an ounce. You get silver down 32 cents, $24.04 an ounce, late sweet crude up a buck. $69.35 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year note up seven ticks, trading 133.07. The 30-year up 21 at 162.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 151 ticks, trading out here at 92.663. Euro 118. Yen 110.24. And the British pound is at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get the SPY kind of laying at highs. You actually have a, it, it's a, it's always intriguing to me when and it does a slow roll. And if that's what we have, we very well may have a slow roll, okay? Um, what you'll see is that we're going to get a bigger bar the next few days on the way downtown. Um, you know, we've, we've basically hit a high last week of uh, 454.05. Uh, that was at 42 million. We get 42 million traded today. Yesterday it did 51. If this thing gets up to about 55 or 60 million and you're still down uh, 60 cents, that's saying that you got a nice sneaky expansion of volume. That is saying they're moving product out at these highs. NDX 100, my take is the NDX 100, they're already into it, meaning that we do have a slow roll happening inside of the NDX 100. We take a look at the Qs. You're going to see what the Qs are doing out here. The Qs right now are down a buck fifty-nine. You do have an expansion of volume. We're already at twenty-seven million. You're coming into twenty-seven. We'll probably do about thirty-five million. The real kicker with the Qs is going to be this: is that you know if the Qs close at the high of today, which is uh, not that much higher actually, but it's forty cents higher, that would be saying that nope. Bottom line, you're going to go for the highs again. We close at a buck sixty down or more. We're going. We're going south. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract rejected lower price today at 1783. You've done uh, 152, 4,000, no, 154,000 contracts at this point. And that's what we needed. Uh, why do we need that? Because yesterday you came down with volume. We came down with 252,000. We haven't hit the swing point yet. The swing point, which is, is 1781.30. Now, when you don't hit a swing point, folks, okay, and you've been going up for quite some time, which gold has, and you're in the ABC structure on the way up. That says quite a bit. That's a bullish occurrence. That's the real bottom line. Now, we'll see where this shakes out because you're still down $5.50. Um, we are right at the lows of yesterday. 1793.10 we're at. 1793.70 was the low. I'd like to see it close inside of that low. Silver. We take a look at the silver market out here. 
Silva took a long time to get catch a bid. We finally caught a bid last Friday. Silva came down hard yesterday. You're down 32 cents today, and it's going to be looking like the same type of setup, meaning, yeah, you're coming down with dramatically lower volume, and you rejected lower price. So the low of the sign of strength was $23.91. We got to $23.94 today. You rejected it. 43,000 contracts versus you're going into 67,000. That's saying you don't have any more sellers, or you don't have enough sellers. The GDX, let's take a look at some of the numbers here in the GDX. The GDX is down eight cents right now. You're coming into strength. The strength you're coming into at 43 million shares, you're only done 14. This month's higher price. That's the bottom line. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What do you have? This is the ever ready bunny, man. I mean, it's something else. The note and bond market, folks, okay, you have a consolidation happening. That being said, the note and bond market as the gold market did not come down to its swing point. When you don't come down to your swing point, it's a bullish occurrence. The swing point in the 10-year note was 132.25. We made it yesterday to 132.28. Right now, you're at 133.07. That says it wants higher price. If we go over and we take a look at the TLT, the 20-year plus ETF structure, uh, bottom line, same type of setup. Yesterday, you know, you did come down on volume, 15 million, but guess what? You were going into 18.6. So the bottom line is you still get a consolidation. I suspect the TLT also wants to get back to its highs. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 1.33. Uh, we get over to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you have with King Dollar out here, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, bottom line with King Dollar, I'll pull this over so you can see how kind of neat this went. This was a, an, a, just about an exact 50% move from the move down. 50% uh, move would have been 93, 84. We went to uh, 92.84, sorry, 92.84. We went to 92.86, and we basically gave it up on price. We're at 92.662. So it's going to be intriguing to see. Uh, you may have an ABC structure on the way down. We'll see how this shakes out. Uh, it, it, it certainly had a, a decent bounce. There's no doubt about that. Had a decent bounce, but the bottom line has given most of that bounce up right now. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, and let's see what we have. We have uh, AMC's down 88 cents. You got uh, Apple down a buck 80. Um, Cody, the beauty company, that's off 10%. That's off a big number. 98 cents, only trading at $8.24. You get NVIDIA down three bucks. We have uh, Tesla up 34 cents. Tesla had quite a day yesterday, man. There's no doubt about that um, in a monster way. There's, there's no two ways about that. That was going top side, and that was going top side in a huge way. Yeah, and the Tigers and Tigers are talking about uranium, uh, and there's no doubt, man. If you want to see a little rocket ship, just go to Kimiko. Uh, bottom line. Um, Kamiko and uh, you know uranium has gone up tremendously. We just went and Kamiko just went from fifteen dollars and thirty-seven cents up to uh, twenty-three dollars. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
the TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 44. You get the NASDAQ up to, off 91. S&Ps are uh, down 5, and uh, it's quite a comeback from where we were. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a good buzz going on here, uh, even in the Tiger's Den, folks, about this. And, you know, this is something that just never – I never actually thought about this because uh, it – well, well, here, let me go through it first. Uh, Fed official who warned on real estate was, act, was an active retrader. Tra so check this, man. You talk about having inside information. This is about as good as you can get. You can be on the Federal Reserve and still trade equities and futures. I didn't I, – I, for some reason, uh, it just never – past my mind that they could actually do this. But you had Boston Fed President Eric Rosengarten um, listed stakes in four separate real estate investment trusts and disclosed multiple purchases and sales in those in other securities. The Boston Fed spokesman uh, Lucy Walsh uh, confirmed that Rosengarten's trades were not conducted via a blind trust, but his investment decisions are consistent with the system's strong ethics rules and time frames. What's going to be interesting here is to find out what the rules are for the Federal Reserve. Because when I read this, you know, well, here, let me read it first and we'll go through it. So separate filings uh, for Dallas Fed Chief Robert Kaplan, a former Goldman Sachs executive, showed multiple one million plus transactions last year as the economy uh, was hit by COVID-19. He also disclosed a one million plus stake in Kansas City Royals baseball team. Uh, the U.S. Central Bank slashed rates to zero in March as the pandemic spread and began buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of treasuries. Rosen and mortgage-backed securities. Rosengren, uh, who has discussed his concern in commercial real estate and public speeches, has also advocated for the Fed to consider scaling back its MBS purchases faster than treasuries to avoid overheating in the housing market. Now, it's really interesting about this one. There's going to be more reporting on this. This is out today because you get two different things that end up happening. In this article here, they're talking about that he was buying REITs when things were bad, the real question is, is that, is he selling REITs, okay, knowing more than we do, our rates going higher, you know? So this is going to be wild, uh, meaning the more information that comes out. The Wall Street Journal first reported uh, Kaplan's trading activity, which included transactions of over a million and more than a dozen companies, including Delta Airlines, Alphabet, Google, Verizon. All transactions were reviewed by the Fed's uh, general counsel, who confirmed the transactions. Now, here, here is the kicker. 
were in compliance with the bank's code of conduct. No trades were made during the Federal Reserve blackout period during which trading activity is prohibited, uh, the Dallas Fed said. All 12 regional Fed banks have provided 2020 financial disclosures for their presidents, most showing nothing unusual with little or no trading reporting last year. That's what would make sense. It would, it would make sense that these guys aren't trading, man, or women aren't trading. It, it, it's insane um, that, you know, you can have that type of information and trading in and out of million dollar trades, man. We'll be doing it all day long, right? I mean, your probability has to go much higher. Um, and it's pure BS when they talk about the aspect that no trades were made during the Federal Reserve blackout period. The, the Federal Reserve blackout period, folks, um, is very small. And what ends up happening, the blackout period just means that they can't even talk, okay? Because we're coming up to uh, a Federal Reserve meeting, you know? so. It's convoluted, that's for sure. I mean, in, in a monster way. Let's get over and take a look at Bitcoin because uh, XBT, this baby has taken a nice hit, and we are trading right now at forty-six um, thousand four eighteen. And what's going to be wild, man? I mean, this is going to be. You have a, an exchange that uh, we have. We get Tom Brady and his wife Gazelle. They are going to be the main characters in a $20 million campaign. We are going to see this campaign. This campaign is going to start Thursday night when the Tampa Bay Bucks take on Dallas. Uh, and it's not only going to just go Thursday night. It's going to go uh, start Thursday, and this goes all the way through October. And uh, the name of the exchange, uh, the crypto exchange, is FTX. Crypto exchange uh, platform FTX is trying to level up in the U.S. with more established competitors through a new ad campaign featuring the married couple of uh, football great Tom Brady and his supermodel wife Gazelle. Um, the bottom, the way they're doing this too is pretty. It's, it's pretty cool for you know name brands of how you do this. The USA Fidel, uh, affiliate of the International Crypto Derivative Exchange. Uh, plans to invest $20 million in the campaign, which begins this Thursday night, uh, you know, when the football season kicks off, goes through October. Uh, and what they do is this. This is how the uh, Miss uh, Brady and his wife already have a piece of this company. They're also giving a piece of this company to Steve Curry, uh, the NBA. And let's see who else is in there. Uh, Miami Heat. The Miami Heat just changed their name of the arena to the FTX Arena. Well, I'm sure they had to pay up for it in a big way. Um, the bottom line is that we're going to see a lot of this. That's, that's the real bottom line. And uh, what, uh, let's see, they, they give a little deal about what the beginning of the ad says. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that. But it's a, it's a, catch, it's a catchy deal. It's, it's like... Uh, Let's go. Are you, are you coming on board with us? Uh, bottom line, you know, so we'll see where the uh, whole thing's going to shake out. But there, there's no doubt that we're going to be hearing more about crypto. And what you, what you also have, there's no doubt, is that when there's so much money uh, getting uh, invested into that, we're going to see more ads and that's going to bring more people in. There's, there's no two ways about that. Uh, some of the high, well, let's go inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness out here today. So you have strength, it's KFC, Kraft Heinz, that's up 4.2%. You get Axivision Vision up 2.2%. Uh, we have American Electric, that's weird, that's up 2%. Uh, Taken away from it. NetEase is down 5.4%. You got uh, DocuSign off 3.4%. Moderna is down 3%. Uh, you got Pinduoduo off 2.9%. Inside the Dow Industrials, in fact, let's take a look at the Dow for a second, because the Dow Industrials, yeah, that, see, okay, so, man, see, this has been a little sneaky. Uh, the Dow's down 59, we're at 35,000. Hey, so check this out, man. Okay, so, you know, the Dow's leading this down, man. Okay, this is, we, we get a slow roll happening. So, Dow Industrials hit a high about three weeks ago. 35,631. We just came back inside the lower range today. 35,091 is the lower range. You get back inside 30,091, guess what? You can go all the way down to the bottom of this range, which is 33,271. And if we take this and we put this, 
and we see where this trend line ends up. Just see how, we, ooh, this is interesting. Wow. Okay, it's good. This is, this is a close call that we just broke this whole trend. You know, you didn't, it's not a break with conviction because you're just underneath it, it somewhat. But you know what? This is telling me that the Dow is going to lead the way down. That is really wild, man. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Nike, we take a look at Nike. We've been looking at Nike as a monster gap that's underneath it. Yeah, and it's that Nike's down 226. Coming to the top of the gap. The top of the gap is uh, 154. Right now you're at 160.38. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 79. You get the NASDAQ off 95. S&Ps are off uh, eight and a half. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, XAU and the HUI. What we had out here, you came down hard yesterday. Uh, bottom line, we're looking for how much volume it came down on versus what we went up on. So yesterday, what we did out here, you did, okay, 25 million shares, and you were going against 24 million. Uh, so see, you can see we also needed this today, because today what you're going to see, you're going to see dramatically lighter volume out here today. Goldbugs Index, I expect, is going to be the same type of setup, HUI. We have inside the gold bugs index. Uh, that is down 13 cents today. You're already rejected. Uh, 247.17. You're at 250. Yesterday we did uh, 
20 million and you were going against 17.9 and uh, 18. So we needed that out here today also, meaning that you come down, you rejected lower price, you had lighter volume uh, in that area. Franco Nevada, FNV, you know, we've been tracking uh, where Fidelity's going with these. Now, what's really interesting about this one is that you, you have Fidelity buying this again. Um, it hasn't moved yet. That's, that's the real bottom line. It just hasn't moved yet. Um, but that's, that's a good pickup. Uh, Fidelity started buying these gold equities a couple weeks ago. Uh, they just they picked up quite a bit of it yesterday, of Franco Nevada. Uh, let me see how much they own right now, PHDC. So they're at 7.5% of it. They own 14 million shares. BlackRock owns eight. Now, the difference is with Fidelity. Now, look at this. You, you got to see this, man, because this is so cool. This, is, this hasn't changed. So pitch this, folks. This hasn't changed. That I started tracking these guys in 1994, meaning Fidelity, Mass Mutual, and State Street. And you're going to see, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're seeing Fidelity's right there. Mass Mutual's right underneath them. They own 4.8%. Uh, let's see if State Street's here anywhere. What, what has happened, in Boston, we were all within a block of each other. And I just picked up on this, like, it just happened to me one day. I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, hey, man, this is interesting how this goes, that Fidelity buys, and then, you, you know, you, you look in Mass Mutual buys, and then State Street buys. <laughs> And when they're selling, they sell. I, now, I don't think that they have to, they don't even have to call each other. What ends up happening is that you, you see these filings. And once you see these filings, okay, bottom line, you know, it's like, it's game, you know. But what does happen, of course, is that when, the, when, when this was first, when I first picked it up, everyone basically was going at the Faneuil Hall. Faneuil Hall was a hot place then, um, you know. And uh, the bottom line is that most, I'm, I'm sure most of these traders have known each other in, in a big way. Let's go take a look at Valley, V-A-L-E. This is uh, about, all about iron ore. And iron ore has actually got hit pretty good. Um, Valley right now is down 75 cents, trading $17.95. Now the low for the year is $10. The high is 23. This is going after its swing low. You know, I wouldn't be buying this thing just yet. You know, because you can see it's down from the highs of 23. Let me bring up iron ore, and you're going to see why. That's what's going on here, too. The iron ore contract, you get 793 it was at. Now it's 730. Okay. So look at this, baby. This is how dramatic iron ore. Iron ore has come down from uh, 1262 a, a ton to 730. Big, big number. Let me pull this back. In fact, I'll put up the generic one and see where we are. Iron. Come on. Give me the generic one. Active contract. Okay. I O E. Let's see if I can get it this way. I O E. There it is. I got it. I O E one. Okay. So the generic contracts at 821. But we're going to pull this up so we can see where we are in the context of where it's been. You're going to see a lot of gaps. Don't pay attention to these gaps on this, folks, because what happens, iron ore is not a, you know, liquid contract anyway. It's not even close. Okay, so iron ore hit a high of uh, 14, 1423 in July. We're at 821. The lower end of this is 603. So 603 is game. Uh, we were at 603 in 2019. And... I'll put this on a 10-year monthly. Yeah, I'd let it come down to that level, man. You know, uh, so you want to pay attention to where iron ore is, and because you're strictly, you're strictly talking a, a pure commodity. There, there's no two ways about that. That's all these commodity stocks, folks, are predicated on what the price of the commodity is and where it's going. Uh, we go take a look at GFI now. If you own GFI. Uh, GFI is going uh, ex-dividend tomorrow. So it's 11, 11 cents per share. Uh, bottom line is that if you own it right now, I just keep it, man. You're going to get 11 cents per share. It's not a bad dividend either. Uh, so we go ex-dividend tomorrow. When is it paying, I think? Let's see. So 
wrong one. Okay, so let's see. Whoops. Well, I know it goes X dividend tomorrow. I'll find out when it's paying out. Uh, yeah, it goes X dividend tomorrow. Shareholders of record September 10th. So you have to own you have to own it till September 10th. That's the real bottom line to get the dividend. So depending on where, where you're at with that, um, you know, I'd basically hold it for the dividend myself. Amazon. Let's go take a look at Amazon. Amazon's been making its way up to that uh, gap. Has is not there quite yet. The gap is uh, 35.80. You're at 35.45. Uh, it's going to need a little more juice uh, getting up here. But uh, the bottom line is that it made it certainly made a run. Uh, it looks to me like uh, when, we, when we do take a look at Amazon, though, Amazon looks to me that it's still in a consolidation. The top, they, you know, this, has been, this has been consolidating now since uh, August of 2020. Uh, you know, the, the top of the consolidation um, actually has a high volume high. So, you know, at that price point of 37.73, that's going to get retested, man. I mean, that's, that's pretty intense, actually, when you take a look at it. That's how, that's how it's set up. And... The bottom of that consolidation is 28.71. So you get a $700 consolidation. Now it's interesting about Amazon there. That's a that's 20% move, right? You know, um, but it's still just a consolidation. Apple, Apple uh, went topside yesterday. Apple's going to do their dog and pony show next week. Uh, it is a virtual uh, dog and pony uh, uh, sale. I mean. Uh, set up next week uh but i suspect uh, whatever they're going to come out and say apple looks like it still wants higher price that's the real bottom line when, we, when you do take a take a look at apple also you know apple has a pe of only 27 a trailing pe of five it's not a bad setup man uh now what what hasn't happened is that the aspect of growth apple is still making you know big dollars but they're not growing that much they're growing by uh, approximately two and a half percent in the United States. They're growing about two, two and a half percent in Europe. Uh, two and a half percent everywhere. In China, they're basically uh, contracting by one percent. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 104. We get the NASDAQ off 108. S&Ps are off 11. Our guest today, folks, is Christian Cashmere. Christian is the founder of Lightwave Media. Lightwave Media is a professional Tampa Bay video production company. They provide video marketing services in Florida. They have a great rental uh, program in Florida, and they just completed a $1.4 million deal for a new studio in beautiful St. Pete. Christian, welcome to TFNN. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing great, doing good here. Good. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about Lightwave Media. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, I started the company uh, about 15 years ago here in St. Pete, and uh, we do film and video production. We've produced a few different feature films in the area, uh, some TV shows, and uh, we just upgraded our studio to a larger space. We're in about uh, 11,000 square feet now nice. uh, that we just moved into. Yeah, so we're nice. pretty excited. Now, I, I'm, when I'm on your site, and the site, folks, is lightwavemedia.com, lightwave uh, and it's pretty cool that you have this big rental program. Talk to me about this rental program. So what kind of, what kind of action is on the, the rental program? Sure. So um, we do both equipment rentals like cameras, uh, lenses, lighting, and then we also rent our studio out. So if you're looking for, say, a green screen to produce a commercial in okay. uh, or a white cyclorama, uh, infinity wall, that type of thing. And we also have custom sets. So sometimes people will come in and say, Hey, I want to, I want to have a spaceship or I want to have an office or a living room set. Yeah. So we can kind of create whatever the person's or company's vision is right here in the studio. What is a, what is a white cyclone? Uh, whatever you did. Cause I, I was on there. I was looking at that. What is that, man? Yeah, sure. So a white cyc. I don't know if you remember those uh, Mac versus PC commercials they had back in yes. maybe the early 2000s. Yes. They shot those on like a white cyclorama. So it basically looks like infinity. It just looks like a big white space. Um, right. It's pretty popular with corporate uh, commercials uh, and corporate videos. No, I, I was looking at it. It looks pretty cool. And your studio is big enough. I saw that, that you can bring trucks in, cars in. You can do that whole bit, right? Yeah, yeah, bring bring your bring your Mercedes down here and we'll get you taken care of. Yeah. I like it. I, so <laughs> yeah, here, tell me what the market's like. Like when you go out, I'm sure you know when you're um, when we're, we're in the advertising business, you got to go out and sell, right? That's so tell us what sure. the market's like. How how tell tell us how you get business. Sure. Well, we do get a lot of our business through uh referrals as well as through our website um on Google. Yeah. Um Basically, people that also are flying into the area say there's a producer coming from L.A. and he's looking for a local video guy or camera guy. Or, oh, or maybe cool. I get it. Right. Yeah, they'll call us up and say, hey, can, can we shoot in your studio? We've got a, you know, a client looking to film there down in Tampa. Sure. Uh, so that's kind of how we'll get a lot of our business. And then we have local clients as well that we work with. That's nice, man. And I'm sure, you know, you've been in business long enough that you've seen the growth in the whole St. Pete, Tampa area. I mean, everybody, when I was first starting out, wanted to go to L.A., and I said, yeah. let me try Florida out first. And we just we came here, and there wasn't a lot of people doing what we're doing here back then. Yep. Now there's you know, some more competition, but it was a great place to kind of grow. And now we're seeing a lot of people come here, like the tech companies are coming here from California now. Um, so there's a good amount of business in this area. I think it's a great place to be for a, a business like ours. You know? no, there's no doubt. You know what's pretty cool, man, is that people – are getting more used to, I mean, you can do quite a bit with your phone, 
And, you know, in right. one way you can under, you'd say that, oh, you wouldn't get as much business, but you really get probably more business because now people realize there's a huge difference between what you can do on a phone and then something like calling lightweight media up like, OK, man, here, you know, I know I understand the, the phones are great, but guess what? You really want something going, man. Well, here, here's some cameras and here's some lighting we can help you out with. Yeah, we love it when clients kind of dip their toes in. Maybe they shoot something on their iPhone. They go, hey, this is my idea, but I want to I want to take it to the next level. Or, or how can I make this look more cinematic? Or how can we bring Hollywood here to St. Peter, Tampa Bay? And, yeah. and that's what we try to help our clients do is, you know, create cinematic and, you know, high-end videos right here without having to go to New York or L.A. Um, and, you know, our new studio will have similar technology to what they're using in Hollywood, like in uh, Disney's Mandalorian. It's like a Star Wars show. I don't know if you've seen that. Okay. So, big baby yoda and all that they, yes. they shoot it on big led screen so when you're looking at that footage instead of it being a green screen like it used to be in the old days now they're they'll just project that footage right up on the screen behind the actor so they can see oh i'm on uh you know uh this distant planet now or i'm in uh, the desert you know you can kind of project anything behind you in real time now wow. and we'll be having that new technology in our new studio and we're really excited about that oh you yeah. gotta be man that's that's really cool man i didn't know that they did that is it it's it's really amazing you know what technology has done to this business you know i remember the first time that when we bought um one of the boxes to just you know go out to the studios whether we're running two or three you know programs at the same time it was yeah. like a fortune and then now they're down to like ten thousand dollars i mean i know that's not you know it's 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 a lot less trust me folks okay these machines oh, yeah. are a lot more expensive when we started <laughs> oh yeah i mean what you used to have to spend back in the day to get into the the business was just crazy now now you can do like you said on your phone you can create pretty darn good videos um so it's it's a pretty exciting time to be in this business but you kind of got to evolve and make sure you don't get you know left behind with the technology sometimes and that's where you know you know running a business right the bottom line is that you you get ahead then all of a sudden like you just said I'm sure that new technology you bought like okay you have to bite the bullet but you're going to do it for the future right exactly you got it you got to get in there and that's what I mean we're trying to stay stay above the curve a little bit and uh and have one of those new LED walls it's called LED volume here okay. so that people can come in and shoot anywhere that you can basically make it look like you're anywhere in the world but you can be right here in our studio um but yeah definitely staying ahead of that is is a big part of of uh trying to be successful and not you know get left behind so and where did you come from when you came down here uh I'm actually from New Jersey originally oh. and Boston so, yeah, Boston. I'm from, there you go. Yeah. I'm from South oh, yeah. Boston. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tremont Street, Boylston. That's where I love yeah. it. That's hey, that's a beautiful thing. You, I mean, and it, 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 yeah, I'll tell you, folks, okay, you know that I'm prejudiced this place, but guess what? If you have a bad day down here with these blue blue skies, um, it's something else. <laughs> that, that's the real bottom line. You it's know, a great point. I was yeah. just reading that uh, you got uh, Brady and his wife, Gazelle. They're doing a big ad, a $20 million ad now for a new crypto. Uh, well, it's not a new crypto exchange, but we, we got to get you to pick up a few of those accounts. <laughs> that would be that's the that's the account I'd like to have for sure. Yeah, that sounds great. We've had some pretty cool projects uh, this past year, but that sounds like a winner. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no doubt. Well, listen, this has been a pleasure. Um, you know, I wish you the best. And I I, I love the idea. And, and folks, the bottom line, whether you want some production done, OK, it's lightwavemedia.com. Um, you know, if you want to do it yourself, I'm looking. I mean, he has an amazing amount of cameras, lighting, you know, cinema lens packages, uh, you know, electric audio, the photo lenses, the whole ball of wax. And of course, he has the studio. Um, give him a buzz, man. Give him a buzz. You can come yeah, on into yeah. the studio. You can get the, you can get your basically your brand going because the bottom line is that you know between. All these social medias now, I mean, branding is so important, it's incredible. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, we, we've had some really cool clients like ACDC in here this year, which was a big uh, surprise for us, but also uh, really uh, just like a kind of one of those uh, surreal experiences. So That's perfect. Uh, we like working with big clients like that all the way down to the locals. So absolutely. Uh, well, listen, Christian, this has been awesome. Appreciate the education. Uh, we look forward to having you on again. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks you so much, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, plug, in, plug in along here, but thank you. That's a beautiful thing. So Charles River, right? Yes. C R L. Now, do you work there? You've, you've. I remember you, man. You, you've, you've had this for a long time, right? Yes, I have. I know. <clears throat> How cool is that, man? I mean, this is a rocket ship. <laughs> you go back to the pandemic. It was ninety-five dollars, and you're four forty-five, man. Yeah. So, so I, I have some uh, options that expire. Stock options that expire in, end of February, and I wondered, you know, should I peel them off or just, you know, let them ride a little bit more? Okay, so remember, this is, you know, the last time I heard from you, you're doing the same thing, man. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let me think this through for a second. When you say peel them off, so if you, if you ex exercise them right now, right? The right. Bo the bottom line, you got to exercise them. And then the question is, if you exercise them now or you wait till February, right? Pretty much, yes. So if you exercise them, you're going to sell them too? Yes, I have to sell them, and if if I don't sell them, then they ex, you know they expire and you know become worthless. I'd so exercise. Like an option. Them. I'd exercise them. Yeah. Okay. Take your money, pay the thirty percent. Who cares? Uh, you won't even thirty percent. You've owed them so long. But yeah, I, I'd pay the tax on it because this is quite a run, man. I mean, there, there's no doubt, and it's not like you've got. Let me just look at this for a second. So you got, well, they're still growing by leaps and bounds, man. 
Man, that's amazing what your company's doing, man. Look at this. So you're still growing by 6% a year in the U.S., and you're growing 4.5% uh, in the world. Yeah. Still good numbers. That's the real bottom line. But you know what? Bottom line is that uh, peeling off some of them, taking the cash, man, <laughs> there's nothing like it, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, do you think there's more upside, or what I, do you think? The, when you look at that, it looks to me like when this turns, it's going to be quite a correction because, yeah. Because if you if we take a look at it, the the last time that you had any type of volume, my God, it's you, you, you're talking a lot lower. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, folks. Have a great one. Come back tomorrow morning, nine o'clock.